last year uh, the mood around the global economy and the pessimism that existed among ceos was uh, quite a bit how is the mood as far as the global economy is concerned what's your own reading of the situation particularly the supply side bottlenecks that caused a huge inflationary spiral all across the world sir see the current at the moment uh, the mood all around the world is a lot better when uh, covid started and more so when the ukraine war started followed by the spike in inflation there was wide you know widespread expectation or apprehension let me say that uh, the world economy as a whole is moving towards recession in the past we have seen advanced economies advanced you know economies whenever they have resorted to uh, monetary policy tightening to tackle the problem of high inflation usually those cycles have ended in a recession this time around not unnaturally there was a, you know there was apprehension that advanced economies and also emerging market economies will enter into a zone of recession but that has not happened that has not happened because i think this time around the inherent resilience of individual uh, economies both advanced economies as well as emerging market economies i think the internal resilience of individual economies uh, have withstood the pressures much better so therefore recession has not happened unlikely to happen but nonetheless growth has slowed down so therefore while there is confidence coming from the fact and while there is optimism that recession has not happened which was the worry earlier but there is also the other realization that global growth has slowed down i would say the mood is lot better than last year because from an apprehensive mood of a recession or a hard landing now the mood is expectation of a soft landing but remain in a territory of low growth i am talking about the global situation so there is optimism that uh, i mean coming to inflation inflation which had spiked in 2022 almost everywhere inflation has moderated that is a matter of satisfaction for every central bank for every country but at the same time countries and you know individual countries are yet to reach their uh, target rates mm. it's that last mile which is proving to be you know challenging mm. so therefore the mood is lot better but at the same time there is a you know there is a mood of cautiousness about how the future will play out more so in the background of continuing geopolitical uh, tensions and uh, so far as india is concerned it's a different story i think india has uh, responded to the uh, recent challenges lot better than india has done in the past and uh, what i have described elsewhere that the last 4 years have been the period of great volatility now in that period of great volatility india has responded far better our inflation has moderated it is within the target zone we are moving towards 4% gdp growth has revived three successive years including this year uh, of gdp growth real gdp growth of 7% or above next year also our expectation is that uh, that is 24 25 our expectation is that the gdp growth will be about 7% so therefore uh, the india story is uh, definitely more resilient a story of greater resilience compared to the rest of the world